Hello guys, if you have been following my channel for some time, you might notice that I am a big fan of Mistral. Mistral is a French company which was formed in April 2023 which was last year by previous employees of Meta and Google DeepMind. Mistral has released various fabulous fantastic models over the last few months and which include Mistral 7B, then Mixtral which was mixture of expert and few others. Mostly these models have performed really well over the course of last few months. Mistral AI has two ways you can use their models. First you can either locally install the open source models or you can use them from Hugging Face or you can get a service which is pay as you go from Mistral. For the pay as you go one, of course, as you guessed correctly, you need to pay them. I'm not sure about the pricing. We'll check it shortly. But you need to go to Mistral's website, log in there, create your account. And then from there, you would need to subscribe to their subscription. And the website is simple, mistral.ai. And I'll also drop the link in video description. Now, you can just specify your limit that I think this is in euros that we just want to use monthly 150 euros with those APIs and then you can see that how the AP, the rate limits are for API and once you uh, subscribe then you can get your API key by simply going here and then you can always keep an eye on your usage pretty simple interface which is quite cool okay now let's assume that you have the Mistral API key or Mistral AI's API key now how do you use it in this video, I'm just going to uh, run you through a Google Colab notebook, which Mistral AI has shared. I will also share the link to this fabulous GitHub repository by Mistral, where people have built some cookbooks to do various things with Mistral AI's API key, and you can run through it. So if you scroll down, there are a few things which people have already done. For this video, I'm just going to run you through this basic RAG functionality. So if you don't know what RAG is, RAG is simply a retrieval augmented generation where you provide extra um, context or external information to your large language model because large language models are trained on a preset of data and they are not aware, for example, what is happening now. So if you want to make them aware of uh, something new or some your own data, you use RAG. In RAG, what happens is that you point your, uh, you get a knowledge base or your document, for example, you convert it, it into a numerical representation, store that numerical values or vectors into a database, which is called as vector store, and from there you retrieve it. Okay, so now you already know what RAG is and how you can get your Mistral AI's API key. Once you have it, go to your Linux system or even your Colab or any Jupyter notebook from there first install this vector database which is FIES it's an open source one very lightweight and then install Mistral AI this is used for API access and then import some of the modules and functions specify your Mistral AI's API key then specify your own data you can either specify it through URL or you can store it in local file or just point it to the local file once that's done simply uh, convert or divide that data into chunks chunks is because it is very handy to identify and retrieve the most relevant information so that is why it is important to divide the data into the chunk that makes it easier for the llm there are various concern consideration around that chunking and you can read further on this notebook i'm not going to rehash it i think it should be uh, it's written very very simply then you can create embeddings, which means that you convert that text into numerical representation on vector. And we are uh, using Mistral's embedding model because in order to create embeddings, you need an embedding model. There are various others too, but it's always good to use Mistral's own embedding model with Mistral model. So this is just they're showing it, then they are storing it in the um, vector store or the uh, sorry, just giving it the shape of that embedding cool and now they're also converting the question which you want to ask from that embedding into numerical representation and storing it once that's done you are retrieving the chunk which is similar and then you are combining the chunk with the prompt 
and then running it through the mistral model and mistral is returning the response here how cool is that and then there are various other things as i mentioned you can do with this cookbook for example you can use lang chain lang graph you can use llama index and you can use haystack it is step by step you can simply copy paste the command and then you can start running with it pretty easily defined which is awesome so that's it uh, sorry i don't have api key from mistral so uh, i couldn't show you but if you are from mistral or if you want to share api key i'll be happy to make a video for you so that's it i hope that you enjoy enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching